Hey guys, welcome. If this is your first time here, this is Moments with Mo. And we're going to tap right into it. I'm going to get into some messages. Um, throughout the day today, I was picking up a lot. It was a lot of things that Spirit was like uploading to me in regards to the collective. Um, definitely... Someone that I'm talking to, um, Spirit is just letting you know that um, it's time to shine your light. It is your time to shine, okay? To shine unapologetically, um, whatever that means for you, okay? And whatever you're doing, because it's like you're 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 getting your harvest and your rewards, okay? That's that's coming. Um, through you just being in your space of truth, okay? A lot of angel numbers, like, you guys can be seeing 111, 11, again, 44 is significant. Um, 444, 333, okay? Um... I think I seen 67, 67 today on, it was just a lot of angel numbers. So spirit talks to you, your angels talk to you via angel numbers, okay? Just wanting to get your attention and to let you know that they're around, they hear you, they support you, that ne you're never walking alone. Spirit wants to make that clear, you're never walking alone, okay? So let's tap into these messages collectively, okay? The first card that fell out, the higher fan. Someone is very um, wise, okay? Okay, okay, this is turning into a love, <laughs> having a love story. So some of you, um, there's something that's cultivating in your love life, okay? There's some type of offer that's coming in for you in regards to love. This could lead to marriage. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is happening quick because this flew out. The tower flew out. Sudden change. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yes. Okay. So this, this energy that's coming in is <laughs> it's a gift from God. This, this, there's something that's with you meeting someone, okay, for sure. That's what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on marriage. I'm picking up this is sudden movement of revelations, okay, awakening. Like, the, the universe is blessing you with love fulfillment and abundance and prosperity. Like, literally wealth, new career. So... There could be a sudden change in your career that leads to this new love, okay? That leads to marriage for some of you, okay? Yeah, something about moving, 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 personal change, okay? Personal change, okay? Transition, like, there's something that's happening here. There's something... That's moving, that's coming in very fast with this tower. It's like, but that tower is a good tower. It's not a tower to like, I know people see the tower and get very scared and worried, but like, this is a good tower. This tower is bringing in abundance and love. What other messages for the collective spirit? What, else, what do they need to know? Honest and honorable spirits. 
good light. What do they? Wow. Okay. With the lovers. With the lovers. Confirming that this. <laughs> this is a love union that's coming in. Okay. There we go. It showed itself. Okay. You have a div divine counterpart that's coming into your life. That's coming in quick. This person can already be very well off financially. And the two of you coming together, it's like you could be well off as well. Okay. But I'm picking up more that this person coming in has is a bit more financially stable. Okay, while you're in the element of creating, um, you're building your wealth. Like you're steadfast in whatever you're building that's going to create wealth, is creating wealth, is attracting and creating abundance in your life. But it's also attracting that like-minded energy, that's, that energy within a union, within a partner. Some of you, if it's not a love story, this is a, a partnership, okay, that's going to help you build your wealth, your prosperity. This person can be someone that feels very familiar, but y'all strictly platonic, okay? But for a lot of you, Spirit is saying, no, this is love. With the Hierophant coming out as the first card, clarified by the Ace of Cups, with the Tower, with the Lovers coming, this is a divine union that's coming together that's a gift. Spirit says, you deserve this love. You deserve this love. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You deserve this love. Justice. This is, you and this person are balanced. Okay? This is your divine counterpart. You guys balance the scales. Cause and effect. Okay? Law. This is why I'm saying that, yeah, Okay, with this given, some of you, this could be a same-sex situation that's going on. Spirit is bringing that to my attention, okay? But this is definitely whoever I'm connecting to and speaking to, if you resonate with this, Spirit is saying that your love life, your love life is about to change very fast, very fast, this is justice. This is spirit says you deserve this. You deserve this movement because a lot of you could have been getting held back. Um, I have posted a reading earlier, and I believe yesterday, um, about some some interferences that can be going on or have have went on in some of your lives. Okay. Um, so to check out some of those reads, okay, because you might have messages in there, okay, but if you have been feeling like your love life has been at a standstill or just like, you know, there's no movement, but it's like, you're not even worried about that necessarily. You're not pressed about it, but you have, you, you do want love. Like you want love. You want to pour in to someone as they pour into you, okay? It's like that temperance card, the cups pouring back into one another, the balancement, the scales. It's just balance, emotional fulfillment, physical fulfillment. It's just it's spiritual fulfillment, okay? And you do deserve this. Spirit says you are the empress. You are someone that's naturally abundant, okay? You're someone that's naturally abundant. Your counterpart is someone naturally abundant. This is your birthright. This is what you're destined to be in this energy. You're destined to have this abundance. Abundance showing itself here. Abundance showing itself here. Okay. This is your energy that's coming through. Because I really feel like it's a divine masculine making their way to a divine feminine. And again, it, it can be same sex. I talk about the energy, not gender specific. Okay. So you plug the energy in where you feel like it fits for you, okay? Okay, so there's something definitely around you being surprised 
by this love that's coming in. This can you could be a water sign or a earth sign. There's a lot of earth energy here. There's a lot of earth energy here. Okay. Um air is showing itself. You're someone very beautiful. You're someone that's very attractive. You attract uh, a lot of attention. Okay. Yeah, someone is ready to make a move, take action towards you. Okay. There's some type of action that someone wants to take. This page of cups. Okay, this offer. I feel like this divine masculine wants to make an offer to you, to some of you. You may know this person or this person may know of you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, child. We gonna fix that bag. Hold on, y'all. Woo. <laughs> uh, I might have to cut and edit that, but we 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 gonna see. We gonna keep it pushing. We gonna keep it pushing. Okay. Let me add that over here for the eyes. Yeah, we see you too. For all them, for all them hating. You get what I'm saying? For all them watchful eyes that you got. Okay, th this King of Swords wants to show himself. This is that energy that's coming towards you because I unshuffled, shuffled, 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 and it's been at the bottom three times. So this King of Swords, Page of Cups energy, okay? This King of Swords is coming to give you a love offer. It's going to catch you, this Empress, by surprise because you guys are lovers. I'm hearing energy from the past life, okay? this You, you came here to find each other again. Okay, there's some type of fulfillment that you guys are fulfilling together, right? This is somebody who's disciplined, who's honest, who's truthful, okay, who's a natural leader, okay, authoritative figure, okay? This is someone, again, finances are good, health good, like mental good. They, they, there's somebody, who, clarify this King of Swords. Yes, this is somebody who thinks about the long term. They're not for the games. They're not for the shenanigans. They're not just hooking up with multiple people to hook up with multiple people. No, they understand that their time is viable. Their time is their currency because anything outside of that is just fake, okay? Just an illusion, just something that's just not as viable. They understand the work that they put in and when it comes to their time, they don't play what they choose to invest in mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. They don't play about. And Spirit is saying they don't play about you. Ooh. I know that's right. Don't play about me, baby. Don't play about me. <laughs> don't play about me, baby. Okay. That's the type of that's the type of man I want. That's the type of woman I want. I want my partner not to worry about me. Okay, I me mean, not to play about me. Worry about me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me stop. Let me stop. But for real though, you know to have somebody that 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 care about your safety, care about that you're you're cool. Did you eat today? How are you feeling? This person wants to check up on you. They want to make sure that you're always in a cool, calm, collective space. Okay. They want to make sure that you're good. Just wanted to show itself. Her eye clarity in reverse. Okay. Okay. Clarify this third eye clarity. Okay. So.
Um, okay, this is taking a turn. Okay, well, hold on. Let me even before I see these. Okay. Okay. There's you gain some type of clarity when it when it comes to um just like taking care of your energy, okay? There can be what I'm picking up on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Clarify this celebration. Why is the celebration here? The gifts and abundance. Okay. So somebody. And this attachment and cold just want to keep showing itself at the bottom. Okay. So, what I'm picking up on is that you go, you gain clarity. Someone didn't want you to see. Somebody didn't want you to see how they were trying to run a game on you, trying to um, emotionally manipulate you, okay, with this Ace of Cups here, um, trying to interfere with your gifts, okay, interfere with your abundance, Okay, they wanted you closed off. They wanted you closed off from this energy, from these blessings. Okay, you can see that this hand is open. This hand is open to receive from the creator. And someone didn't want you in this self-care space type of space where you're valuing yourself. You're valuing your energy. You're cutting people off who don't serve you. You're cutting things out that do not serve you. Again, very much Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords energy. Okay, and... Someone, somebody wanted you to be guarded. Feel like they wanted you to be worried about things not moving forward in your life, about like illusions, about not receiving. Okay, what's yours? Okay, this person can be a male with this male here, or and female. Or like there can be somebody who was again. I'm getting, I'm getting, I, I. Energy. I'm getting aunt sister energy. Okay. But there's something about you speaking your truth, you expressing your truth, you living and standing in your truth. Okay. That that bothers this energy. Clarify, spirit. Can you clarify expression? Why is expression and truth here? Why is expression and truth here? Oh, so two. Wow. 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 So look how this flew out. And I caught it just like this. So you released somebody. You released this energy. You cut off this energy. You purged this energy that wanted you to feel blocked, wanted you to feel guarded, wanted to. Wow. Like <laughs> effect that's naturally yours. Which is your your abundance, your gifts, your birthright, some type of inheritance. But you saw through this, you gained clarity, even though they wanted clarity to be in a reverse, okay? Third eye, somebody was tapping in, is giving monitoring spirit energy, is giving looking into your story. You're looking into your destiny. Someone who is connected, okay, because with the Hierophant, this can be, this can be an institution. Again, institutions, a society is giving, you know, a cult brotherhood energy. Okay, these can pe be people that you don't even know. Please use your level of discernment. This message may not be for you. Some, 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 some things in it might be. OK, but everything is not for everybody. OK, so please apply what applies for you. But there's something about. Who? Mm, this truth coming out on lovers. And it's justice like you speaking your just you speaking your truth is justice like it's something about you speaking your truth. 
you living in your truth, walking in your truth, that is a lot, causing this tower moment. It's causing this tower moment. In these people lives, this can be one person, but I'm getting it can be it's more than one person with this third eye, at least two to six people. OK, three people here in the higher front card. So. This person wants to apologize, they want forgiveness for how they moved against you. Somebody wants to apologize to you. Someone is sorry, more so sorry that they got caught. Sorry that you found out that they they were moving against you. So this can be somebody that you actually know. This can be somebody you know that wants to apologize. Someone that was wearing a facade. Okay? Someone that was wearing a facade. But now they want forgiveness. They want forgiveness. Spirit, 21, 12 on the clock. Clarify apologies, forgiveness. Why is this apologies, forgiveness card here, Spirit? Why is this apologies, forgiveness card here? Yeah, because this person was interfering with your foundation, with the structures of your life. Like as you were trying to build stability and things in your life, you could have felt like your life was, wasn't moving. Things was stagnant. Things was happening to you back to back that was just seemed very low vibrational. And you, you just don't understand why, understand why. Again, somebody was wearing a facade. Somebody was being fake. Somebody was smiling in your face. Smiling in your face, ass energy, but over here moving against you, but you cut this energy off. Something about your intuition, your intuition, your spirit guides, okay, helps you release this person because there's things that you're, des you're, you're, you're destined for. Okay, you're destined for, and spirit just was not going to allow those floodgates to open up with that energy still being close to you or around you. Holy spirit. Oh, that was great. Wow. Wow. Yeah, y'all. Strength. Strength. Your power. You shine the sun. Okay, somebody didn't want you to be in this empowerment energy. Someone, Somebody wanted you to be disempowered. Okay, somebody wanted you to be disempowered. Okay, somebody wants you to be disempowered. But your ancestors and guides work with you heavy. So you alchemize this energy. Things that they were doing, energy and spells they were sending your way. Somebody didn't want you to remember with this coming out in reverse. Okay, somebody didn't want you to remember who you are. Somebody didn't want you to remember how you shine, how your bright your spirit is. They didn't want you to get closer to your higher self, the spirit, the divine. Okay, but you... And your spirit guides, the strength that's within you and the power with your spirit guides, the assistance of your spirit guides, right, has shifted <laughs> and transmuted this energy and cleansed this energy out of your life, okay? Because it, again, it's something around you not being in your power. You feeling broken, you feeling disempowered, you feeling... Like, okay, that things isn't moving. Like, why isn't things moving in my life? Okay. Why isn't things moving in my life? You have dream coming out. Something evolving the significance of your, your dreams. Your dreams coming true with this celebration card here. 
okay? Way too many spirit. Way, way, way too many. Uh, here with this energy, though, I'm sick of seeing this. This this government energy wants to show itself, okay? So some of you, this can be um, someone that works for the government, that is in the government, or you may work for the government yourself or have in the past. Or it can be, again, we'll see what comes out with the clarifying messages that you can be having government interference. You can be having because of who you are and what's your birthright and your destiny that these occults and these government entities be looking into people births, births and astrology and knowing where the kings and queens of the land are being born and trying to come in and interfere with that. Okay. Try to move against the chosen. Okay. Because it's giving that energy. It's giving that energy. It's giving that. It's giving that you are someone who's nurturing, who's loving, who's compassionate, who's, okay, creative. Something about writing, okay, that wants to come out over truth, okay? Something about expressing yourself. So spirit is pushing you to express yourself, to write your story, to tell your story, to tell your truth, to speak your truth, okay? Release and purge. This is helping you release and purge things that may be causing, you know, just some stagnation in your life in, in some way um, that just needs to be cleaned up, right? Okay, as you continue to elevate and expand, okay? Because Spirit is saying, yeah, these people wanted you to be silent. These people wanted you to be silent. These people... Uh, uh. It's just such a yucky ass energy, y'all. It's yucky. We won't get some more messages, but there's something about, yeah. Okay, these people are worried. These people are worried. This person is worried right here with apologies. Okay, and how they look with their hand. They're praying to God. They're praying to God because I'm hearing some of the, the shit that they threw towards you or sent towards you and you are still living and breathing. They, they are, yeah, perplexed to say the least. Perplexed that you had the nerve to really be taking care of yourself, <laughs> to be so divinely protected by your, your ancestors <laughs> and spirit guides. Like, they're worried, okay? Somebody is, <laughs> quit that nine to five, living a dream. So some of you are, this tower moment, I'm hearing from spirit, you're about to leave your job, okay? There's something, this can be a dream of yours to quit your job, your nine to five job. You have been contemplating and thinking about walking away from your job. Spirit says this is the confirmation to walk away from that job, okay? And build your life via through your creativity and your creative expressions okay it's something significant about you you leaving your nine to five you know who you are okay <laughs> you speak your truth so this is your whoever i'm connecting to and speaking to you know who you are you know this message is for you in the center point, you know who you are. You're someone who who is very powerful, who's tapped in, okay? You're tapped into your spirit, guys. You're tapped into yourself, okay? So you definitely know that this message is for you. You feel, you feel it. Angels blocking. So yeah, this is why this person is worried because your angels blocked everything that they may have sent your way, right? And now this person <laughs> is worried. These people are worried because there's something about, again, what they were doing towards you that sh you shouldn't be thriving right now. You shouldn't be feeling good. You shouldn't be having these blessings coming towards you. You shouldn't be feeling and anticipating lightness and love in your life. Like, 
weird ass energy. Like these motherfuckers are some haters. Why didn't I say this? I called this shit. <laughs> sister. This person can be a sister to you. Some type of sister, a play sister, a blood relative sister. Okay. This person is worried. This person is. I, I'm so angry at the bottom. They're so angry. They're so angry at the fact that you 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 cut them off. You 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 left them to be in their bullshit. You're not taking and dealing with that bullshit. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> um, they're angry at the fact that you're still thriving. They're watching you thrive and grow. They're angry that you're not they're not connected to you no more or plugged into you. Okay, there's something again significance about you speaking your truth. You you with this being a writer, so telling your story. But this sister here, or this person that has this feminine energy that you looked at as a sister, or um, yeah, this person is a shapeshifter. Okay, shapeshifter energy coming out. This is a person who. Again, just know they can literally shape shift themselves, really. Or they just know how they just they they uh, it's giving smile in your face energy. It's giving, you know, I know how to walk in and be a chameleon in any room, you know, type of energy. Okay. Confirming some type of brotherhood. You have some type, so some of you, it's a sister, okay, that betrayed you in some way, okay? There was a betrayal here. There was a betrayal here. Again, somebody that you know, and at the bottom as what well, gang stalking. I literally said two to six people, okay? So all the confirmations is coming out to play now, okay, right? So you have... These one, two, three people, okay, to eight people that's gang stalking you. This is why as it was giving, again, brotherhood, cult energy, connecting. This is why government seemed like it wanted to show itself again, okay, because we know that they, they, they tap into astrology. They use, they use ancient wisdom to try to move against the people of the land. People of the land, the land, the people of the land that was here, okay? There's something about significant about a wish of yours coming true, a dream of yours coming true that this person, this sister, this the feminine energy that moved against you, that was sending Okay, some of you death spells, death magic, or this brotherhood that was sitting in death spells, death magic, okay? Yeah, you don't fear shit. Because you know who you are. Because <laughs> you know who you are. So you, you're you somebody who mastered your light and dark, okay? You have mastered communing and not being like in fear of anything i'm hearing not being fearful some of you a wish come true a baby some of you are about to be building your family okay with how to restart it right which was you coming into union okay your love life was having a dramatic quick change with this towers here with the hierophant and the ace of cups that came out to clarify you had the lovers and you have babies. So some of you are about to be parents. Some of you are about to have children. Okay. <laughs> some of you are about to have children. Your first child. That's so beautiful. This is like a reoccurring thing. I'm hearing first child. So some of you are going to be first time parents. So congratulations. A lot of you, you're, if you're not looking to have children or an age of you know, or can have children, right? Um, are not looking to have children. There's something about what you're you're creating that you're birthing. Oh my gosh! Don't fear shit came out again. 
So, yeah, you're a badass. This is why these people are worried about you. Because <laughs> you don't fear shit. You don't fear shit. They are wondering, like, okay, who is this person? Who is this person? And where where do they find... Where, where, where how? How? <laughs> they want to know how. There's something about knowing how. Want to know how. Okay? You broke out of the matrix. Cycles over and over. Someone wanted you in this space where you were just going in circles when it came to your love life, when it came to movement in your career, when it came to just... It's just like being like wanting you to be stuck, wanting you to be in the same cycle where they didn't benefit. Like you, you, you don't, you didn't benefit. They benefited off of you. They benefited off of you being, being this star, being this energy that f feed they fed off of. Okay. Like, it's giving real en energy vampire, you know, just dragging you into shit to lower your energy, to consume your energy, to make them feel good. Some of you, it's like, yeah, this brotherhood, this occult, this energy, very threatened of your power that, that course through your blood. But you don't fear shit. So they over here gang stalking you, watching you. Some of you are on... Again, platforms where you are being seen, where people can see you and watch you. And this is where they're probably watching you, okay? But I do feel your spirit guys, you are heavily protected. And they want you to know with this star. Can't make this shit up. Cannot make it up. Cannot make it up. You are a star. You are a star. You shine. Your power your power is powerful. You shine. And this is why you're a problem. You're a problem. You're a problem. So this is this is getting again. This is taking <laughs> This is still a beautiful as read because uh clearly you got movement that's coming into your life when it comes to the matters of love and wealth. So that's awesome. Holy Spirit, angels and guys, what are the messages for the collective? Look, y'all, I say it and it come out. Protection. Your protection is crazy. Your, your ancestors, your ancestors, they don't play about you. They don't play about you. You feel them. You hear them. You see them. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are divinely protected. They want you to know you are safe. You are good. This person is a family member. Wow. Confirming. Confirming sister. Confirming sister. Okay. So this person... That could have been moving against you in some way, practicing and dabbling in things that they have little to no knowledge of. Okay? Little to no knowledge of. Conjuring things up they had no business. Visiting graveyards and cemeteries they had no business. Okay? Doing things that moved against you. Some type of betrayal here. Some type of um, undertone of jealousy. There's something about, and and it, it, I mean, I'm seeing how the cars is coming out. It makes sense. You are a natural star. Some of you are meant to shine and be very right, to be seen, to be in the public eye. Spirit wants to acknowledge the improvement of your health. Because some of them was doing things to affect your health. Okay. They was doing things to affect your health. 
They didn't want you to be healthy. Okay, they want you to deteriorate. But now it's like, they seen that all that they done to you, again, you're still here. You're still here. You know who you are. So you know how powerful you are. You already know you the star. You already know that you popping. You already know, but you're humble. Spirit says you're humble. That's not, you're not doing it from your ego. You're a humble person. And these people are just bothered. They're so pressed. You don't mess with nobody. Oh my gosh. Confirmation. All these cards. And it's the card that wanted to come out again. It showed itself earlier. And then it came out again. So some of you, yes. This is a brotherhood. Some type of cult that works with the government. These are governments that are moving and plotting Okay, infrastructure, institutions, their religion want to push you, challenge you, challenge this matrix. <laughs> oh my gosh, you challenge this matrix. You broke out of the matrix. You don't fear shit. You're heavily protected and you know who you are and they know that you know who you are. So now they're gang stalking you. Worrying about what you're going to do next, how you're going to do it. Why isn't nothing that we're doing working against this person? Who the hell are they? You got these people worried and they should be. And they should be. Again, this sister that betrayed you, this feminine energy that betrayed you, or somebody that is a family member. It doesn't necessarily have to be a sister, but I'm picking up on a feminine energy. And it's just confirmed that there's family member sister betrayed you in some way. And your spirit guys have brought this to your attention, have made this clear to you. Okay? But you are so heavily protected. You're so heavily protected. Ooh, ew. <laughs> Just ew. Guys, yes, yeah, see, I'm taking the first one of so many. Spiritual upgrades. This is why the government is over here worried about you. Because of your your upgrades, the spiritual upgrades, okay? You knowing who you are, standing in your power, knowing who you are, okay? Again, just being unfearful. You have broken, you're, you, if you are resonating with this read, you have broken out of the matrix, Okay, and they are scared as fuck because they are worried that you are going to break others out of the motherfucking game. Point blank, period. These people, okay, can have been ciphering your energy. Okay, that's why I said they wanted to cipher your energy. They wanted to use you. They wanted to keep you in a space of being in circle and circle, being as powerful as being basically like this universal battery okay never ending okay power pack they wanted to just use you to manifest their own bullshit to bring their things into fruition to use your energy to make movements in the spiritual realm and all that because of who you are the blood that runs through you okay but not knowing what really protects you and it was coming for your love life Again, this is why some of you have your love life has been there's been delay causing delays and blockages in your love life because there's something significant of you coming into divine union with your divine partner. OK. Yeah, you're a fucking warrior. You're a warrior. You know who you are. You are a warrior. You are a spiritual warrior. You are helping set motherfuckers free. Spiritually, you're breaking chains. And this is why these people are worried about you and so pressed about oppressing you, having you in a state of disempowerment. And now it's like your wishes and stuff is coming true. 
Okay? Again, this be showing itself. They are angry. Some of these people are angry at the fact that you are still prevailing after all that they tried to do to stop you. How? How? They don't even make sense. Who are they? I am powerful. I am powerful. I've done shit that stopped this person, that killed this person, that stipped the... Like, the, that's what I'm hearing. Like, it's like they, they really sitting around... Or, or this person is sitting around really going through their head like, how are you still here? How are you doing this? What the actual fuck? You are multifaceted. Okay? You are someone who can do many things. Okay? Through your creativity, you create wealth, generational wealth. Again, it's something about wanting to block your wealth, wanting to block your happiness, wanting to block your success, wanting you to be in a just disempowered state of mind, not caring about your self-care. They wanted you to be in a reverse with this, not caring about yourself, not caring who you give your energy to, how much they take, how much they consume. No, you set up boundaries. You've been cutting motherfuckers off and out. Okay, right? And they are like, what the actual, again, they're angry. Somebody is angry, y'all. Somebody is angry. This sister, okay? <laughs> this sister, because <laughs> this person, are these people are angry at the fact that you're still winning because it's like how 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 this person is full on ego they think they the baddest witch of the, the baddest witch that ever came the baddest warlock that ever did it and you shut them right the fuck up <laughs> with new love coming out okay so i'm telling you wow Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. And look, this just wants to show them stuff. They failed. This is why they angry. They are angry because they failed. They failed. They failed to subdue this star. They think that they was going to interfere with your energy, interfere with your destiny, interfere with what you came here to do. Okay. Again, something about you being pure. You're looked at, the spirits look at you as pure, okay? You're someone that's pure. You're someone that's that's peaceful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay? You want to bring peace to the world. These energies, okay, sister, this, these, this brotherhood, this energy is the opposite. They want to bring destruction and chaos and hurt and pain to the people in the world. And you challenge all of that. And you have been getting upgraded. They know. They know who you are because you know who you are. They know who you are because you know who you are. And they're so angry. They're angry because you're glowing up. They're watching you in real time glow the fuck up. And they are pissed. They are angry at this star shining. Because you're so heavily protected. The love, again, confirming love with the lovers coming in. There's something about your love life that's shifting that's divine. This is the, this is a divine union. This is a divine union. Okay? This is a divine union. But you are so guided and protected. You are so loved by your spirit guides and that everything that they try to do just fail. Spirit says, keep doing what you're doing. This message came out in another read, okay, as well. Keep doing what you're doing, which is just confirming that you are doing what you need to be doing. You're 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 on the track. You're on the right track. You are a winner. <laughs> you're winning. 
you're winning. You're winning. Because <laughs> you're a winner. That's what you do. That's what you do. Okay? I am so in love. Wow. With this new love coming in. Okay? With this new love coming in. I swear I'm not crazy. No, but they're crazy in love with you. This divine lover that's coming in quick because of this tower with this marriage that's leading to marriage, proposal, marriage, okay? You have someone coming in quick that's in love with you. But I'm also getting with this touch in the star card. Again, so many people are going to love you. So many people love you. So many people are going to be... <sighs> yeah, y'all going to have to really make sure that y'all are, um, you know, protecting yourself when it comes to boundaries and, you know, just not being available to everyone um, because there's something regarding that people are just going to be getting kind of hooked on you like like a drug okay i'm being real that's what i heard like people being really obsessed okay obsessed with just you because you're someone who wears their heart on their sleeve you're someone who has a big heart you're someone who cares about others and your energy is felt through the cosmos. People come across you. People walk past with you. People might see you. And just that encounter, as little as may be, has shifted that person, changed their energetic signature, okay? 51, 51 on the clock. These people would not stop. These people would not stop. And this is a confirmation because right behind it, you get, get some rest. Get some rest. So these people are not getting no type of sleep because, first of all, they're worried now. This is why they're really not getting sleep because the shit that they was throwing you that your angels was blocking, they're not getting no rest. But they just wouldn't stop. You just wouldn't stop. And they're, and they're saying, you, why? 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 Why is this person not stopping? Why is this person not dropping dead? Why is this person not failing? Why are they prevailing? Why? 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 That's what I'm feeling. For real. This is the anger. You see how it was just coming out, right? I'm channeling it, channeling in real time. And wow, again, yeah, some of you, you are meant to be in the limelight. You're meant to shine. You're meant to shine. You're meant to shine. Some of you are going to be seen. I said that in the beginning and spirit confirmed it with famous coming out with the star energy. Okay. With the star energy. You are meant to be seen. Your truth that you're going to be speaking is going to help heal so many people. See, I said this earlier. I smile in your face with that facade card. Someone, this sister, family member, someone that you know, this relative, okay? Okay. Or someone you looked at as a family member smiling in your face, but they doing shit behind your fucking back. And they want to know, <laughs> how do you know what you know? How do you know what you know? These, <laughs> these people are like, how the fuck? That's all I'm like. They are perplexed. They are perplexed. They're confused. Okay, Cruz. Okay. Now, this is a pottery. So some of you deal with pottery. You like pottery. It's something that how you're, is a pastime for you or a passionate or, or a hobby for you. Okay. But there's something about you. Okay. Putting your dumb motherfucking spirits in, in, a, in a jar, in a vase, okay? And I'm going to tell you this. That's something powerful. When you jar a spirit, okay, that's been out of order. Because once you jar something, it got no choice but to sit in there and incubate. So just imagine you jar that shit and leave it for millennia, okay? 
spirit a spirit don't want that but you this is why these spirits and things they have conjured it they're scared you have you you have the ability to shut shit down in the spiritual realm when it comes to demons and the fallen all that spirit is saying yeah some of you you might have to some energies getting out of order you might have to jar a few of them because you have that 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 right you have that ability with coat at the bottom so just confirming again this energy of this brotherhood and this government ass energy cult energy being worried and being pressed about you holy spirit angels and guys what message or messages okay you can't break my soul <laughs> you can't break my soul okay something around be this star singing music can be the path on where you are what's the change that's happening in your career that's this sudden tower that's blowing up almost like overnight sensation okay overnight sensation blowing up okay these motherfuckers wanted to break your soul they wanted you to be so broken they wanted you they wanted you to <laughs> Just be in a place where you just like they looked at you or this person was looking at you as like naive or or just like ignorant. OK. Feeling like they deserve. They deserve what you have. You They deserve the attention you get. Fifty six, fifty six on the clock. OK. Where it is. Jealous of your power. There it go. There it go. There it go. Jealous of your power. Confirming. You are a powerful as being. You are someone who is powerful. Okay. And you know who you are. You know who you are. You know who you are. They Jealous of your power. And you know who you are. You know the power you yield. You know who walks with you. Okay? You're jealous of your glow up. <laughs> of your glow up. Okay? You know who you are. <laughs> wow. Wow. And you expose them, motherfuckers. All eyes are on you because you're getting thrusted into the spotlight. You're getting thrusted. Your platform eyes. Many people are going to be watching you, listening to you, tapping into you and your energy because you already command that. Your 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 presence is very commanding. People want to tune in to you. Okay, and what you got going on, but it's saying that you're here. <laughs> and then social media jumped out. So confirming these institutions, these brotherhoods, this sister, this energy. OK, people watching you via social media, seeing you glow up via social media. OK, seeing this star glow up via social media. Seeing this star about to be famous. OK. Via social media, glow up, standing in their power. Okay? And it's pissing these people off. Some of these people are pissed off. Some of these people are scared and worried. Okay? Holy Spirit, angels and guys. I have to wrap this up. What other message do you have for the collective? Good message and messages you have for the collective. Okay. Yeah, lurking. So these people are watching you. These people are watching you because they can't do nothing else to you. <laughs> they can't do nothing else to you. They have no choice but to just kind of like they they tried everything. They tried everything. 
They tried everything. Okay, at night they doing spell work. They staying up at night. They talking to the moon, doing magic underneath the moon, sacrifices underneath the moon to move against your freedom. Okay, but nothing worked. You're still free. You still free. The biggest part is spiritually, mentally free. You're free. You're free. Okay. Yeah. This person or these energies giving you the evil eye. Okay. But the confirmation, the confirmation, maybe some of you have an evil eye necklace you wear. I'm seeing or a bracelet. Okay. This message is for you. Again, you attract a lot of attention because of how you shine. So you get a lot of evil eyes, okay, from people because your light naturally just challenges people. This came out again. How do you know what you know? So you are someone that's very tapped in to your spiritual gifts. You hear spirit. You commune with spirit. Your spirit speaks directly to you. Your angels and guides speak directly to you. These people want to know, how do you know what you know? How do you know what you know? How do you know what you know? It's not making sense to me. Who who the fuck are you? This is why I, this anger is, is coming out. They want to know, who are you? Who protects you? <laughs> the spiritual upgrades and gifts you got... Like they're they're worried, they're pressed. They're, this is why they're jealous of your power because you are someone that, <sighs> quite frankly, they can't defeat. <clears throat> you you cannot be defeated. Bodyguard. So this is confirming that. <laughs> okay, this is confirming the famous energy. Okay. Please step back. You're somebody that's going to be in the limelight. This star, this star, the limelight, okay? To please step back. You're under surveillance. So again, people can be watching you. These people are watching you lurking at night, worrying about what you're doing, how you're doing it. But Spirit is just saying again, you're just, they're watching your glow up. <laughs> they watching this star glow up, okay? They're watching this star glow up, stepping into their fame, okay? Needing bodyguards. This is also representat representation of your spiritual protection as well. You're guarded in the spiritual realm and the physical realm, Okay? Okay, because you you carry royal, you're of royal descent. You have royal bloodlines. And this is, again, this is stuff that they feed back to us as entertainment. Okay, with shows and movies, they show you how people move against those that are in power, who, are, who, who own the land, who are, it's their inheritance, it's their birthright. But you got people that are jealous of the power of those who naturally yield this power, who <sighs> these things belong to you, okay? These things belong to you. The land, yours. The money, yours. The gold, yours. The the diamonds, the jewels, the rubies, yours. The seasons, seasoning, the spices, yours. The seeds, the uh, it's yours. And you're coming to claim it back. And that's why you have the government here trying to stop you. You have this brotherhood here trying to interfere with who you are. The cult energy that came out and showed itself. Okay. Some of you, again, this family member, this family member tried to silence you. They tried to silence you. Shh. They didn't want you speaking your truth. They didn't want you singing your song. They didn't want you putting out your music. They didn't want you writing that poem. They didn't want you writing that book. 
because too much healing takes place within you and others when you do so. But this came out in the reverse. Okay? They tried. You tried. But you... <laughs> what? Failed. Failed. Some of you can be seeing 333 on the clock. Okay? Angel numbers. Angels are speaking to you. Holy angel spirits and guys. What other message do you have for my collective? Your love life. There's movement that's happening in your love life. There's movement that's happening in your love life. Confirming, okay, this energy. The tower, movement, love life. Okay? The curses and things they tried to send your way were reversed. Your bodyguards, your spiritual bodyguards, your spiritual protection. Okay? They did that. Your ancestors reversed that shit. They get that back. Okay? But there's movement movement that's happening in your life. There's movement that's happening in your life. And I'm so grateful that, you know, you that you didn't give up. That you stay, stay steadfast within yourself. Because your mission here is bigger than just you. It's for the collective. It's, all, it's for the whole. It's for oneness. Okay? Sharing your of yourself. I'm an incredibly generous being. This is spirit saying, this is why you're getting your wish fulfillment. This is why things is coming true for you because you are a you are someone who is not selfish. So, you already right now, you may find yourself not in the best financial situation, but you will give someone your last. Okay? You're someone who's very very generous. You're someone who loves people, who loves to help, who loves, who wants to see people free. You, you, you hate to see people struggling and hurt and down and out. And you're, you make it your life mission and goal to help. This is why you're a problem. This is why they was affecting you. They wanted to affect how you view yourself, how you see yourself. They wanted you to look at yourself in a disempowering place. Because if they cut you off with you cutting yourself off, then it's like they cut the snake head off necessarily. They don't need to. But because you didn't do that and you turned around and you came through with this queen of swords, king of swords ass energy and cut this energy, this person out and just dived into you and the shit that they threw at you. Yes, you some of you felt experience at them, them attacks. OK, but you transmuted this energy into yourself, into your craft, into your gifts, into movement about why did I attract this? What you know, you you turned inward and you found the things to be grateful for and leveled up. And this is why Spirit says you are a winner. Spirit says you are a winner. Keep doing what you're doing. Because as you keep doing what you're doing, everything that they do will fail. They're failures. Weak ass bitches. <laughs> and it's real talk. Because this energy is disgusting. Okay? Simplifying your life. Like I said, cleaning up your house. Cleaning home. People cannot be around you. Sorry. Okay? The access they had yesterday is not the access they got today. Ashe, can I get that in the chat? Okay? The access you had yesterday, you do not have today. Holy Spirit, angels and guys, what message messages for my collective what do they need to know what do they need to hear what do they need to know still? healing the past i step into my future with strength and clarity so yes you gain clarity you gain clarity on the situation remember that clarity card came in reverse in the beginning of this reading okay so somebody didn't want you to be clear but there's something about healing the past. This is your ancestors' energy that's coming through, okay? With things that were deep-rooted in your bloodline and lineage here with the trees and the roots here, okay? But you birthed something new for your ancestors, something that's growing new roots, okay? New roots for your bloodline. And they're just so happy and grateful for you,
Yeah, you let this person go. You let this person go. And you just enjoy life. You're going with the flow. You surrender. You you this is why you win. This is why you win. And this is why they're angry because nothing that they've done is can affect you and will affect you. You have let things go. You have simplified your life. You have healed and cleansed your bloodline and lineage. They know that they know that you walk with some powerful ass ancestors, some spiritual guides. They don't know all of your protection because it's too damn much. I'm being honest. They 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 couldn't even know if they 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 really tried. Okay, there's too much. It's too much. Heavily protected. Heavily protected. You're following your bliss. Spirit, again, com confirming something of significant about music. You can be a musician. Okay, my soul sings with joy. You are a singer. Something about singing, speaking your truth, third chakra activation, using your third chakra to heal the world. Your music will be heard around the world. If you are a singer, you have such a beautiful voice. You have a voice that people just want to, they can listen to you all day. One, 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 one on the clock. Okay. An hour and 11 minutes and 11 seconds. This message is for you. Your music is going to be heard around the world. Some of you are up from at night. Okay, and me being a musician myself, I find myself, you're very creative at night. And you be up from the night to the morning in your craft, singing your song, making your music, doing your dance. It's like you get second wind, right? And during these creative hours. <laughs> Something about this horse. Some of you can have a horse, want a horse. This is a unicorn, but I'm saying a horse. So you're very magical. You're very magical. OK, keep following your bliss. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Because apparently all you do is win, 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 no matter what. OK, win, 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 no matter what. OK, we're going to close this this message out, guys, with angel numbers. OK, Holy Spirit, angels and guides. OK, belief system. You go after what you want. This is your destiny, your gifts, and your talents. And gratitude. You are blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Embrace what makes you different. That's what. That's your path to success. Your dreams will come true. This is why dreams came out. This is why wish fulfillment came out. Right? This is why these cards came out. We too far going to dig for them. Okay? But... This is confirming that you are someone who is multifaceted. This is why that multifaceted card came out. You're multifaceted. You have so many different talents. Go after what you want. You're going after what you want in a blissful way that is eating niggas up. <laughs> okay? Is eating people up. Because you are just this multifaceted being that's in your bliss that is grateful for the things that you have experienced or that you are experiencing, have experienced. Wow. Okay. Powerful mirror energy, mirror energy, because this is the card that came out. So some of you is zero one one zero. Okay. So that's mirror energy. And then at the bottom, look at this. Oh, one me. Yeah. One Oh, Oh one. So this mirror energy Spiritual awakening, okay? So some of you are get, are seeing 10, 10, 11, 11. Again, you might be seeing 0, 1, 1, 0, okay? 10, 0, 1, okay? Holy Spirit. Wow. Personal power. <laughs> 8, 8, 8, 8. You are abundant as fuck you are powerful as fuck look at this romance wealth material and spiritual abundance yo is this not confirming everything that this just said all that is good and pleasant in your life will multiply angels are sending you the number are sending the number to resonate to reassure you 
of the prosperity and well-being ahead. Your surroundings will treat you with admiration and respect. Use it for the greater good. This is why you are stepping into this limelight, period. Because spirit is confirming that you are going to use this position of being famous, okay? People people that want to be famous, see, everybody has their reasons for everything. But what I'm hearing with you, you don't want to be famous just for the, for the fame and put, oh, woe is me and look at me and everybody loves me and wants me and da 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 You could care less about that shit. This is you being in this energy, right, for the greater good of humanity, this is why I said this love that's coming in, and this says romance. You had new love that came. You had the Hierophant, clarified by the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Tower, the Lovers. Then you had new love come out, okay? And romance is here. Spirit saying everything that they ever tried to block effect in your life is just going to multiply and they know that this is this is why they're worried this is why some of them are angry and upset some of them are crying i'm hearing tears like, <laughs> like somebody's really crying dead ass crying for some shit that they did to you where as people where as energies i cannot you wasn't crying when you was under that moon doing what you was doing with all that passion. Now people is your people is dying. Folks is dying. <laughs> Folks is getting up on out of here. Now we want to be crying. They tried to take you out in the worst way and failed. And this shit is embarrassing. <laughs> This shit is embarrassing. They try to, and I'm just saying, some of them are embarrassed because, again, these are some people in these occults that really think that they're the sugar honey ice to the tea and that they're the, the witchiest of the witch, the worst of the worst, and you came through and shut, and shut that shit down <laughs> while still being in this energy. La, 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 naturally you. O two two O. Act on your idea, okay? You have the benefit of good fortune, and if you use your wise judgment, you can do anything in this place. You reach new heights. You should ju you should act on your potential when you see this pattern. Since since what you your plant, oh. You should act on your potential when you see this pattern, since what your plant will grow, okay? You're about to experience a spectacular ascent, okay? So something about you ascending, something about uh, spiritual uh, upgrades, okay? You being disciplined, you being... This is divine timing. Everything is happening. You already in this energy. You are already using... You flowing with the guy. You flowing with the good. You flowing your ideas, your thoughts turn to things. And this you know. Again, because you're a powerful being. Okay? You're a powerful being. You are a powerful being. And I'm going to leave you with one more card, Spirit. This angel number B. Nice card, okay? 0505. Unexpected shift. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Clarifying the tower. Unexpected, sudden change, upheaval, okay? Divine intervention, sudden change, love, pleasant surprises, gut feeling. You are anticipating this. This nu this number serves as a way to gently nudge you and to pursue whatever interests you most. It's possible that something could rock your boat, okay? Or somebody, okay? You will need, you will, you'll end up exactly where you belong, which could be in an arm and somebody's arms, your dream job or a boy. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Spirit saying, get ready. You had the, the tower get clarified by angel number. Okay. The tower has come out. Okay. The lovers have been clarified. <laughs> there's new love that's taking place here, y'all. There's a there's some type of marriage that's happening. 
that's happening that's taking place something unexpected is coming into your life and it's definitely around your love life definitely around your career so get ready to blow get ready to blow tribe i'm gonna leave it right there i really do hope overall these messages resonated for you um, if they did resonate with you, please hit the like button so I know that this message was received, okay? Also, um, you know, sharing in the comments, if this message is for you, I want to see some confirmations. Claim this energy, okay? If this is yours, this is a beautiful read, y'all. This was a lot, okay, when it came to the clarifying messages that came through. But the overall energy of what's coming for you is nothing but greatness, nothing but abundance, nothing but wealth, nothing but love, partnership, happiness, okay? Bliss. So, yeah, I'm so excited. If you are new, <clears throat> we thank you for, you know, coming and tuning in with the fam because this is a time where we all come together. Because let me just say, when you guys also tap the like button and comment, it brings your energy closer, okay? Because I'm tapping into the, your energies, right? So your energies are closer where I'm able to get more loud clarifying messages for you that would feel very personable so there's great power in hitting that like button um <sighs> being subscribed if you're not subscribed okay and hitting the notification bell so you're notified when i drop new content like this okay and also hit the share button because you never know who needs to hear this because it's about what y'all we we and this community here at moments with mo i I love y'all. Y'all some real ass folks. Y'all some real... Y'all, I see the love in the comments, how y'all be loving up on each other, encouraging one another. It's so beautiful. It be making me really get a little teary-eyed. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Okay? I love you. And I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.